Hey guys, this is a tutorial for the full Wasteland Hess. This Hess is generally considered one of the hardest in the game because it's uh, really long, you're going really fast backwards, you can't really see where you're going. And a small mistake can make you restart at the beginning again. But there's quite a few good visual cues uh, you can use during the Hess to help you go through it and I'll try to go through the, those in this video. Before I start, I want to show this map of the Wasteland, which helped me a lot. So your starting position is at the bottom right, and the ending is at the top left, or middle left. So uh, as soon as you enter the wasteland, your path to the shelter is basically straight left and then straight up. And that's one thing a lot of people don't realize about the wasteland, is the path to the shelter is fairly straightforward. So it's uh, definitely the easier part of the Hess, and I'm going to go through that part right now. So once you enter the wasteland, you just want to pull out a bomb, turn around, don't try to get any kind of angle, and then just begin your Hess. And you want to pay attention to the flags on your left here. Now once you begin the Hess, uh, you can get a few different angles. And if you get an angle really far to the right, you probably want to do a small uh, Z release and press again to get a small angle change that you're closer to the flags. You want to be as close to the flags uh, for this first part as possible just for good visual cues. And you want to start counting the flags as you pass them. So you pass one right there, two, three, and the sign. And then you kind of want to anticipate the fourth flag which is coming up uh, right here. And once you're around the fourth flag you want to do a big right turn so that your arrow is almost vertical like this. And it could be a little bit less vertical than that. Um, if you're a little bit too far to the left, it's bad. If you're more to the right, that's still pretty good. Um, and now, for the most part, this is a straight line to the shelter. Uh, it, unless you're really vertical like I am right now, then you might want to do a angle change. Right now, you're holding uh, ESS right. You might want to do an ESS left angle change once you pass this flag here like that and then it should be fairly straightforward to the top so once you get to the top of the hill you want to pay attention to these flags as you start going down so if the flags are to your right then you're gonna want to do a big turn so you go past the shelter on that side if you are some sort of in the middle of the flags there's a good chance that you're gonna hit you're gonna go directly into the shelter which is good if you're doing 100% otherwise it's not and uh, if your angle is something like this, then you are very good. You're going to slide right past the shelter. This is ideally what you want. Uh, pay attention to your arrow on the minimap. It's really helpful for this section. So you're going to want to pass the shelter almost in a straight line. Uh, if you're facing a little bit more to the left, it's fine. Too much though, and you will hit a void trigger somewhere around there. And so you're going to go down here until you hit this dip. You're gonna go down and start rising up this other hill. And you see there's this line kind of separating these two sections. So as soon as you go down the, uh, on this part, you want to turn and just keep riding it parallel. And then uh, there's a small dip here and then you're gonna go up this hill. As soon as you start going up this hill, you wanna cross, uh, cross over to the other side of this, this line right here and then ride it, uh, rise up the hill. And over here, there's a void out trigger, so you can't go too far over this way. You wanna be towards the uh, top of this hill. And then once you get to the top, there's another line of void trigger right here. Uh, it's kinda hard to see. You'll notice it um, very easy once you're actually doing the Hess. And you wanna be about parallel with this line or facing more towards the left. If you're facing too far right, if you hit this line, you will void out. Uh, you have a quite a bit of leniency over to this direction, not very much on, on this direction though. You want to keep, uh, even once you're down the hill, you're on flat ground, you still want to keep going. And then there's this kind of like a, uh, like a pit here. Once you pass this, then you're free to do a big turn and you can go straight into the direction of the Colossus. So let me show that part.
during the Hess. So again, you're going to want to go straight down from the shelter. Turn right here, big 90 degree turn. Start going down, start rising up, cross the uh, cross the hill. You would turn now here at this point. You don't always need an angle change there. Sometimes you will, sometimes you won't. It depends on how big your angle is when you cross over the hill. If it's a very slight angle, you probably won't need to. A, big, a bigger angle like I did here, you probably will. And then once you get to the top of the hill, you need to do another uh, left angle change. You can see uh, this hill, this um, the void out trigger is right there. So in this case, I went pretty far uh, over to the right. That's fine. Again, you have pretty good leniency there. And then once you see uh, the good cue here is once you see this patch of levers spawn and then you get far enough away to not target them, then you want to do your final turn. And then you'll go straight into Colossus. Let me go through this one more time in slow motion. So as soon as you enter the wasteland, you just want to pull out your bomb and turn around. Don't try to get any kind of angle. And just begin your Hess. Pay attention to how big your angle is. You want to be close to the flags as you get up here. Count the flags. One, two, three. As you get near the fourth flag, turn. If your arrow is almost completely vertical, do an angle change when you see that flag over there. Once you get to the top, pay attention to your flags here. Go uh, straight past the shelter, almost a straight line down. Once you hit this dip, um, do a big turn. Once you start rising over this hill, do another big turn, or a small turn here. You cross over to the other side. You can see the uh, line right here. Cross over this side of the hill. Do an angle change if needed, so you're closer to the... You want to be closer to this line then over here at this point until you cross the top of the hill then you want to do another big angle change uh, left but you're either parallel with this line or facing much more towards the right and you want to keep riding that same angle all the way down unless you're if you're really far towards the right like I was there then you do want to do a little bit left um, otherwise, you can keep that straight angle until right here, where you see these levers. Once you see these levers, uh, and you can no longer target them, you're far away enough that you don't target them. You can do your last angle change, the flags, and go straight into Colossus. So uh, this Hess is pretty hard, but if you are, if you're just kind of like okay at Hessing. If you're just kind of like decent at Hessing, you want to get better at Hessing. This Hess is really difficult, but it's also really good at uh, helping you learn how to be good at Hesses. This is the way I got really good at Hessing, was just by grinding this Hess over and over and over again. Uh, because it teaches you like you need to react really quickly, you need to be able to angle change really quickly. And so uh, if you really want to get really good at Hessing, uh, I just recommend grinding this a lot. And of course, it's a good time saver as well if you're doing any category that goes through the wasteland. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hopefully it helped. I'll just leave this going one more time. Alright.